have to explore here. I finally worked out how I'm going to join these pouch cells that I pulled out of a couple of e-bike batteries last year sometime and have struggled for ages working out how I'm going to parallel connect um, 10 or 12 of these together um, in order to make a decent sized chunk that I can then string in series to make a 24 volt pack. Um, finally I'm working out what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a bunch of these things here, 3D printed, using um, the usual twisted copper wire um, and in my case I put a um, bullet, connect, bullet socket on the end of that. If I get 10 cells together and put that in there and then put Tesla fuses from each of the tabs to the bus bars and then use these to connect each block together in a string to make the 24. These are uh, 3.2 volt nominal um, cells and roughly 4,000 milliamp hours, 4,500 milliamp hours. Um, so when you multiply that by 10 you get quite a nice amount of power in a single brick. String those together and it should work quite nicely. I've ordered some large heat shrink that will heat shrink that together. Um, so I think this is going to work reasonably well. And I've also made a, a box. Um, if I can zoom out. Um, I've made myself a nice long box so that I can um, slot each of these packs in and it'll be nice and self-contained. Um, I'm not 100% sure what the, what the hell I'm doing here. I'm totally making this up as I go along. Um, so we'll see if it actually works or not. It's definitely just an experiment. Um, if I string uh, 8 of these together, 3.2 volts, then I end up at around the same voltage as my P7 lithium ion pack. So I should potentially be able to run this pack in parallel with my lithium ion 18650 packs. Um, and I'm sure some people will scream and say, you're not allowed to mix different chemistries. These are lith lifey po. Um, but I'm going to give it a go and see what happens, just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, so that's my current solution to this, this pouch cell challenge. Hmm. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Catch you next time. Cheers.